Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, taro root and actually growing it. Uh, for me personally, I don't want to grow it as a food source, I want to grow it as um, an ornamental plant, which I've done many times before and I've got four or five plants growing in the greenhouse that actually need to be divided because there's several youngsters that need to be taken off and separated from the mother plants. Uh, one of the taro is a really good size um, and two of the others really still really good size. It's not as big as the first um, but, but still quite monsters and, and you know, look great, give a real tropical look to the garden. Uh, they're known as, also known as elephant ears or alocasia. Um, now the you can buy them from a garden centre, uh, probably ranging from six pounds or so upwards, uh, which is a pretty expensive way of doing them. Uh, but a really nice cheap way of doing them is to actually go to a local supermarket um, and you may be lucky if they have a, a good stock of vegetables, you may be lucky to find something called taro. Now this is a taro bulb or taro tuber. Um, now this will of course turn into the elephant ear. Fantastic plant, look really great. Um, what you're going to be looking for is one with that's solid, hasn't got any obvious signs of damage um, and certainly no signs of rot. Next thing you're going to be looking for on the end, not necessarily not this one because this one is beginning to grow already, uh, but on the end of here, you'll be looking for a red mark on the end. That's where it's going to be shooting from. Now, I bought this about a week ago. I've actually got two. Um, just been left in one of my fridges. Really warm, uh, but they've been left in there in the carrier bag. I've actually forgotten about them until tonight. Um, and... What we've got is it's starting to shoot. If I turn that that way, you can actually see that there's a bit of a shoot there. And over here, if I can get to it, over here is a root. And there are actually several other roots. That little white bit there is another root. Um, now, I find that if you plant them in soil, if the soil gets too wet before the bulb really gets going, uh, they will start to rot. One way I've found that really works in overcoming the rotting of the bulb is actually use a bag. You now these are just sandwich bags. Place the bulb inside the bag. What I do is I put two lots of air into the bag. First lot, uh, blow into it, squeeze the air out, blow in again, and then knock the bag. What you're doing is you're trapping just enough moisture inside to get the taro to start growing. Um, of course, you're also limiting, limiting the amount of moisture that's in there. Uh, perfect amount of moisture. I'm going to check on these every week or two and uh, see how we go. Uh, and I'll report back to you in a couple of weeks. Cheers. Bye for now.